Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime video. In this video we're going to show you guys how to use a new Blender product we released called Distort. Now what Distort is, it's a, is, it's a pack of glitches for Blender that are made to look a lot like After Effects glitches, but uh, they also have their own unique look thanks to them being created with Blender's internal features. So let's get started with the overview of how the product works. So we have our default scene here. What we're going to do is we're going to hit F12 on our keyboard to render it. And now we're going to append a glitch from our distort node setup. So click File Append. And uh, we're going to look for where we've stored distort on our computer. OK. So we'll use this one here. And we'll select one of the node setups from our distort pack. So we'll just use the regular RGB. And we'll click a pin from library. And we'll go into the compositor and check use node to check backdrop. And we'll click add group and you'll see the distort regular RGB. So if you select that and hook it up here, you can click add output and then viewer this up here and hook the output there. And now you can see our glitch effect, but we want to know when in our scene this glitch effect starts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the NLA editor of Blender, and you can see we have the glitch effect here. It starts around this time, so we'll just put the um, timeline marker to the middle of the glitch strip here. And uh, this frame in the animation, the glitch should stop, and it's all looking pretty good. So if you want to move the glitch further in your animation, you can move this along the timeline by right-clicking and holding. And if you want to change the scaling or the speed of the glitch, you can type in. And uh, scroll down and you can just change the scale up. If you want to make it take longer, you, know, you would put it up and shorter, you put it down. So let's put it back to 0.4. And uh, that's looking pretty good. So that's pretty much how you edit the animations for the glitches. And you can also change the colors on the glitch nodes. So we had it at regular RGB, but you can change it so you get some different colors in here. And uh, let's put that back to blue. So it looks pretty good. So it works best when you have a black background in your scene. So if you put the scene to black and re-render it, you can see we've got a really nice looking glitch effect here. So if you want to see how it plays out when it's animated, you can uh, choose your render output settings. We'll just render this right to a video. And uh, change our settings and choose a folder on our computer for it to go to. We'll do desktop, distort, tutorial, video. And uh, yeah. So you want to render it out to an animation, and this is what you should get when the animation is finished rendering. So this is just one of a variety of glitches included in the Distort node pack. So you can get it on the Blender Market or on our website, and we'll include a link to it in the description. So thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful, and you can subscribe for more tutorials from partners and coordinated rendering of ideas, motion, and effects. Thank you.